All right, folks, we got the nose structure here is now glued in place. Um, it's pretty much cured. The, the grill glue dries fairly quickly, a couple hours and it's handleable. And then it takes about 24 hours for it to fully cure. Anyways, as you can see, no structure is on board and I've started working on the nose gear mounts. I've taken a couple of pieces of quarter inch plywood. These are kind of doublers here for the forward portion where the retract goes. This will be the lower one. And then there's a gap for a piece of uh, plywood for the rails to mount. And then there's another one up top. As you can see here, we've got the doubler already there. And then this rail is there. These are just tack glued in place. They're not permanent yet. Um, what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to make sure that the nose gear strut, uh, the length is proper to where it either can come down as far as it possibly can, which is pretty much the position it's at right now. Or if that's too low, I can actually move the retract up and down within the gear well to make sure that we have the airplane sitting at the right stance when it's on the ground which if you probably noticed the airplane has got the main landing gear under it right now so this is probably the first time it's sat on its on its gear in quite a while um probably 10 years or so but say so right now i'm working on getting this figured out to make sure that it's going to sit right um as it sits right now it looks like the gear may be usable without having to extend anything um right now the strut looks like it might be actually just about an inch or so too long in which case i can move this up about another oh probably another three quarters of an inch to an inch or so and it'll fit but one of the issues i'm running into at the moment is the retract has to come through this this lower floor or this forward plate and i went into cad and i went ahead and drew up where that goes so now i'm getting ready to cut this out and make sure the retract fits where it needs to go So, but here, see we got the retract is now inside the nose structure. Coming in here looking for the bottom. A couple of uh, just some miniature C-clamps to hold it to the rail. And it's fit nicely, nice and tight to both of them. So now, first time on its gear, all three of them almost, in quite a while. Now I need to, uh, like I said I got the back, the, the, the tail section blocked up because it's obviously tail heavy and it's going to fall over on its butt. So, see what I can come up with for ballast weight. See if we can get it to, to sit on its wheels without the back of it blocked up. I'm going to try this air pump, see if that's enough. If I had to guess it probably is. So this block is the one that really holds it up. The other one here is just kind of a cushion. There we go. I'm gonna hold that there just. There we go. B29 is sitting on its own landing gear for first time in who knows how long. So uh, looking at it, it looks like the nose strut might be pretty dang good lengthwise um 
let me let me grab a an incidence meter and we'll just throw it on the top of the fuselage to give us ourselves an idea of what it looks like angle wise so the table is at zero degrees more or less here on top of the fuselage you know it doesn't start it's be easier for me to come over here and do it here on the top of the fuselage it looks like it is pretty much zero so the whole thing sits zero zero right now that's that's a good start um and that's with no weight on it granted the yeah that's pretty much no weight there's no compression on the on the main up here or on the nose gear once we put some weight on the wings and the tail and the engines and all that stuff let's see back here it's still showing pretty much zero degrees put some weight on it and we get about a degree out of it so i'm gonna go with that's probably close enough. If we get to the point to where we need to modify anything, I can always put some a quarter inch shim or so under the, the nose gear. There's enough room to move the nose gear down in its mount to give us that, that positive angle of attack that we're, we're looking for. But honestly, this thing, it's, it's sitting <laughs> quite nice where it's at right now. I, I fully, I'm pretty confident once we put some weight on everything with the engines and all the radio equipment and everything that it'll settle a little, a little bit and we'll get a good one or two degrees of positive positive sit on the wing and when it's static and if that doesn't happen these springs are really really stiff to where we can always uh, soften up the springs a little bit on the mains and that'll help help it squat just a little bit more in its travel to give us a little bit more of a, an oleo, a, a float as I call it, as it taxis. And it also helped get that nose up. So, but really for right now, the next thing I'm going to do is that nose gear structure. I'm going to get the upper and the lower uh, doublers epoxied in place. Probably the uppers first. And once those are nice and dry or cured, I will drill the holes for the retract mount and then I will epoxy the, the retract rails into the, the structure all at once as, as, at the same time of, as, the, as the lower doublers. And the reason why I want to epoxy the rails and the everything, or the rails and the lower doublers all together, is the best way you can ensure that you don't twist your retracts is to glue your plates or your rails in while they're bolted to the retract mechanism because if those retract mechanisms if you rely on anything and they're just out just a little bit and they twist that retract frame you can put some uh some binding in the mechanism which will cause you issues later on so if you can glue so it's best really to glue those rails or that retract plate in while it's bolted to the retract that takes up any sort of like parallelism that might be uh, out of whack with that retract unit and it makes it really nice and it, it doing that save has saved me a lot of headache with retracts that and just maintaining them every year so i think for now that's what we're gonna we're gonna call a wrap on this video so until next time y'all have a good day